Now look at the buttons along the bottom left. These display different contents of the left pane. The Folders and Files button is where we've been till now. The Bookmarks button is where we can save any bookmarks in our code so we can quickly return there when we need to. The Symbols and Special Characters button, well, we'll almost never use this in coding. But finally, the Snippets button, we will use this a great deal. Now look at the menu at the top. File, Edit, View, etc. These are very similar to most text or word processors, but many behave differently for code editing. We'll deal with these only as we need them throughout this course. Below this menu, the main toolbar, is a row of buttons which are just shortcuts to the more commonly used items in the menu above. Of particular importance to us will be the indent and unindent buttons for formatting our code. These buttons all have menu equivalents and often keyboard shortcuts as well. For example, pull down the Edit menu to reveal the indent and unindent options. And you'll notice that it tells you that indent can be done by holding down the Control key, then the Full Stop key. Similarly, unindent can be done by holding down the Control key while hitting the Comma key. Now let's use Bluefish to create a new PHP homepage for our local host web server. Remember, we renamed the original one, so the home page currently defaults to the HTML version. Click the New button on the Menu toolbar. An Untitled tab appears on the Open Files tab bar. Let's type in the PHP code for our new home page. Don't worry about what the code is for now. We're only looking at how to do this, not what it means at this stage. I've typed in the Open tag and the Close tag for a PHP file. Less than question mark PHP on the first line and question mark greater than on the last line. I've typed in one line of code echo hello world. Hello world is what I want to appear on the browser screen. The text is enclosed in double quotes and the line of code ends in a semicolon. I'm now going to save this file as index.php. For any untitled file, the save command behaves just like the save as command and asks you for a file name. So let's save this as index.php by clicking the save button, typing in index.php and click save. Now let's go to our browser, reload or refresh the home page. I'll open a new tab, choose my localhost homepage bookmark, refresh it because it was still held in cache and there I have my new homepage, Hello World.